Honda Aircraft Co. has introduced the Honda Jet Elite 2 Very Light Jet, an upgraded Honda Jet with a longer range, redesigned cabin, a new paint scheme that further differentiates the ramp appeal of the aircraft, and automated technologies such as an auto throttle and Garmin's Emergency Auto Land. The Honda Jet Elite 2 once again pushes the boundaries of its category on all fronts of performance, comfort, and style, says Hideto Yamasaki. Honda Aircraft President and CEO. We are also excited to take our aircraft forward on the journey of automation by bringing new technologies to the market next year, he remarks. Today, we're going inside the Honda Jet Elite 2 to talk about everything you need to know about this exciting aircraft. The Elite 2 will feature a redesigned cabin with a choice of two new interior design options, onyx and steel, with new surface materials and colors. The Onyx interior is a rich, warm, neutral beige cabin with mid-tone wood accents, while the steel is a modern light cool gray theme with high contrast marble accents, the company says. The cabin redesign led to a modern luxury of flight experience with a holistic approach to comfort that includes new aisle flooring with hardwood herringbone and plank patterns, a nose-to-tail acoustic treatment to reduce noise for an enhanced cabin experience and swiveling seats. The lighting system is also getting an upgrade, with multicolor LEDs inside the cabin with a soft indigo night setting, ground illumination added to the main entry door, and integrated exterior lights. Optional features include an additional 3 inches of legroom for the crew seat with an extended seat track and sheepskin covers for the pilot seats. The cabin includes four fully adjustable leather seats placed in a classic club configuration. It also features two stowable executive tables, electronically dimmable windows, and an optional side-facing fifth seat opposite the door, which can also be replaced with a galley kitchen. This brings the total number of passengers to 7 plus 1 crew, or 6 plus 2 crew. As with the Elite S, the new Elite 2 offers a unique sound system from Bon Jovi Acoustics, which features 24 powerful transducers incorporated into the sidewalls of the cabin, creating a smooth and sophisticated look to offer immersive sound not previously available in any aircraft. Like many electronics these days, the sound system can be managed through an app that also gives passengers the ability to darken the cabin through the six electronically dimmable windows and to change the lights and temperature. You can manage Sirius XM channels on the tablet too. USB power outlets have become standard both in the cockpit and in the cabin so that pilots and passengers can satisfy their addictions to screens. Satellite connectivity is available through Iridium and GoGo Business Aviation's GoGo Biz, providing internet service, the ability to make phone calls, and send and receive text messages within the continental US and some portions of Canada and Alaska. Progressing to the rear of the cabin, there's the lavatory with a belted seat option to offer another legal passenger seat for takeoff and landing. The toilet offers not one, but two small skylights and an optional sink with running water activated by a motion sensor. In the cockpit, the Elite 2 will feature more automation and augmentation, including customized avionics suite based on Garmin's G3000. It will also include stabilized approach to help the pilot with oral and visual alerts, to maintain a stable state on approach, and an auto throttle to reduce pilot workload through the automation of power management based on the desired flight characteristics through all phases of flight. As an option, the Elite 2 is the first new production twin jet to offer Garmin's Emergency Auto Land, a feature that activates to autonomously control and land the aircraft without human intervention in the event the pilot becomes incapacitated. Our goal is to optimize every aspect of the product said Honda Aircraft President and CEO Hideto Yamasaki. The auto throttle feature will be available in the first half of 2023, while Autoland will be available in the second half of 2023. Outside, the Elite 2 introduces a bold new black edition paint scheme that further differentiates the ramp appeal of the aircraft. The aircraft also includes over-the-wing engine mount configuration, natural laminar flow technology on the wings and fuselage nose, and a carbon composite fuselage. 
It also will include ground spoilers to optimize takeoff and landing field performance with the increased weight. The stabilized approach upgrade assists the pilot with oral and visual alerts to maintain a stable aircraft state on approach, according to Honda Aircraft. Honda also said the jet creates less greenhouse gas emissions and noise pollution than other similarly sized twin-engine business jets, which is in line with their goal of reaching carbon neutrality by 2050. Talking about performance, the Elite 2 is powered by the same two GE Honda Aero HF120 turbofan engines with a TBO of 5,000 hours, each producing 2,050 pounds of thrust. This combination is able to push the aircraft to a cruise speed of 422 knots at FL300 and up to a maximum cruising altitude of 43,000 feet or 13,100 meters with an average hourly fuel burn of 90 gallons or 340 liters per hour. The aircraft will now carry 3,100 pounds or 1,400 kilograms of fuel, up from the previous 2,900 pounds or 1,315 kilograms. And because of this, the Elite 2 has a new NBAA IFR maximum range of 1,547 nautical miles with four passengers which is 1,780 miles or 2,865 kilometers, 110 nautical miles further than the Elite S. To accommodate the added fuel, the maximum takeoff weight has been raised to 200 pounds or 91 kilograms to 11,100 pounds or 5,035 kilograms without changing the empty weight significantly, according to Honda Aircraft, Vice President of Sales Pete Kriegler. Because of this, the maximum net payload is still 1,920 pounds or 870 kilograms. The plane can take off in 3,500 feet or 1,067 meters, has a maximum rate of climb of 4,100 feet or 1,250 meters per minute, and a minimum landing distance of 3,000 feet or 914 meters. The base purchase price for a new Elite 2 is $6.95 million before options. At this time, unfortunately, Honda Aircraft is not offering an upgrade from the Elite S to the Elite 2 configuration. Judging from the Elite S, the charter price of the new Elite 2 should range between $2,500 and $3,500 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. Considering the Elite S, the total fixed cost of the new Elite 2 should be roughly $300,000 to $400,000 per year, and the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,000 to $1,400. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.